and you diagnose this patient. So we have a 42-year-old woman with pituitary infarction causing secondary adrenal insufficiency, and they're undergoing a standardized psychological stress test. During the test, they note that the plasma norepinephrine rises normally, but her plasma epinephrine fails to increase to expected levels. Brain imaging shows the pituitary damage with low ACTH morning serum cortisol is low. The blunted epinephrine response is most likely due to decreased activity of which enzyme? So here's our practice question in case you want to pause. So which enzyme has decreased activity? Well, we had a pituitary infarction, so that's a secondary adrenal insufficiency. That means low ACTH. And low cortisol means you have impaired adrenal medulla function, and so that's going to help us know which enzyme is depleted. Basically, the adrenal medulla makes epinephrine from norepinephrine via the phenylethanolamine N-methyltransferase or PNMT pathway. And PNMT is upregulated by cortisol from the adrenal cortex via blood flow through the adrenal portal system. So in secondary adrenal insufficiency, low cortisol is going to mean that you have low PNMT. And if you have low PNMT, then you have low epinephrine. So really it's that low cortisol which cues you into the low PNMT for our answer. And indeed our answer is D. So again, PNMT is converting norepinephrine to epinephrine. It's the key enzyme that's stimulated by cortisol. And we know that there's low cortisol here because we know there's secondary adrenal insufficiency. That leads to decreased PNMT activity and blunted epinephrine response even though norepinephrine levels are totally normal. So here are some notes that are gonna help you on step one. The catecholamine synthesis pathway in the adrenal medulla is very tightly regulated. In this last step, the norepinephrine into epinephrine is dependent on cortisol, which diffuses from the adrenal cortex to the medulla, and without ACTH, due to like a pituitary damage or something like that, cortisol production is going to drop and PNMT is understimulated and epinephrine synthesis is thereby going to be blunted. If you found this helpful, then be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.